Hey guys, in this video we're going to finish off practice exam 1.2 in the fall 2022 semester with a problem from chapter 5 relating to stoichiometry and percent yield. So let's take a look. We're asked what mass in grams of N2 is required to produce some mass of NH3, here it's 51.8 grams, if the percent yield of the reaction is 75.3 percent and we can assume here that there's excess H2 so that N2 is the limiting reactant. Enter your response to the nearest 0.1 grams. Okay, how do we proceed here? Well, the first thing to do actually is to factor in the percent yield and, and think about the percent yield. We're trying to produce 51.8 grams of NH3. This is the actual yield that we want. But the theoretical yield that we need to shoot for will be higher than 51.8 grams. And this is because the percent yield of the reaction is only 75.3%. So we need to shoot for more than 51 grams if we want this reaction that does not give perfect yield to produce that amount of product. And so mathematically, we can set this up using the definition of percent yield, as you see here. 75.3% corresponds to a decimal value of 0.753, and that's equal to the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield. The actual yield we're shooting for is 51.8 grams. The target yield, the theoretical target that we need to try to hit or aim for theoretically, we're going to call m -targ for the target mass. And this is the only unknown in this equation now, right? And so we can rearrange things and solve for m targ, and we arrive at a target mass of 68.79 grams. And so now we can pause and say, all right, if we set up the reaction so that we're shooting for 68.79 grams, and we end up with a percent yield of 75.3%, the actual mass we'll get out is our desired amount of 51.8 grams. So now at this point, it becomes a mass to mass stoichiometry problem where we have a target mass of NH3, 68.79 grams, and we need to work sort of backwards to the mass of reactant N2 required to produce the 68.79 grams of NH3. So it's mass to mass stoichiometry. How do we go from mass to mass? Well, we've got to go through mole land. And to cross over from mass to mole land, we use molar masses. And to change between numbers of moles, we use stoichiometric factors or mole-mole ratios from the balanced chemical equation. So here, for example, we go from the mass of NH3 to the moles of NH3. That's going to involve dividing by a molar mass. And then we use the ratio of 1N2 to 2NH3s from the balanced equation that we see here to convert or go from moles of NH3 to moles of N2. And then finally, we're going to multiply by a molar mass to go from the moles of N2 to the mass of N2. So now that we've sort of charted our path through stoichiometry space, let's plug in the numbers. Our target mass of NH3 is 68.79 grams. We're going to take that, divide by the molar mass of NH3, which is 17.034 grams per mole, or multiply by one mole for every 17.034 grams multiply by that stoichiometric factor, and then multiply by the molar mass of N2, which is 28.02 grams per mole. And when you chug through the numbers, calculate all this out, you arrive at a mass of 56.6 grams of N2 required to produce that 68.79 grams of NH3 theoretically. But keep in mind, because the percent yield of the reaction is 75.3%, the actual yield we will get out is the 51.8 grams of NH3. And this is worth kind of working backwards and verifying just as a sanity check and make sure, making sure that we worked the problem correctly. 